North Korean Lazarus Group allegedly laundered over $200 million in stolen crypto from 2020 to 2023. Hassan Shidu last updated. April 30, 2024 at 107 GMT plus 3-2 minute read. The North Korean Lazarus Group laundered $200 million worth of crypto into fiat currency between August 2020 and October 2023, according to an April 29 investigative report by crypto sleuth Zach XBT. The investigation examined over 25 exploits across various blockchains and traced illicitly gained funds through mixers, peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces, and centralized exchanges to show how the funds were removed from the crypto ecosystem. North Korean Lazarus Group implicated in laundering over $200 million in stolen cryptocurrency. These illicit funds were obtained through over 25 crypto hacks allegedly orchestrated by the Lazarus Group, which has gained infamy since its emergence in 2009. The group reportedly stole over $3 billion in crypto assets over the six years leading up to 2023. Thousands of people in the space have been impacted directly and indirectly by Lazarus Group attacks, and it seems that number will only continue to increase, Zach XBT wrote on X. The North Korean hackers allegedly laundered the stolen digital assets using a combination of crypto mixing services and peer-to-peer -peer P2P marketplaces. The crypto sleuth pointed out that at least $44 million of stolen cryptocurrency has been laundered through the Paxel and no one's P2P marketplaces, utilizing usernames such as EasyGoatFish351 and FairJunkoff170. These usernames exhibited deposit and trading patterns consistent with the movement of stolen funds. Further analysis indicates that the hacked funds were predominantly converted into the US stablecoin before being exchanged for fiat currencies and subsequently withdrawn. The Lazarus Group has historically relied on over-the-counter traders in China to convert cryptocurrency into fiat currencies. In November 2023, Tether blacklisted over $374,000 worth of stolen funds associated with the Lazarus Group. Additionally, three out of four stablecoin issuers have reportedly blacklisted an additional $3.4 million sitting in a cluster of addresses linked to Lazarus, as per Zach XBD's findings. North Korea linked tax account for $2.4 billion in cryptocurrency losses since 2020. According to data from the United Nations Security Council UNSC and Defy Lama, more than 70% of the cryptocurrency lost to North Korea linked tax since 2020 was attributed to exploits involving compromised private keys. The combined findings indicate that North Korea was implicated in approximately $2.4 billion worth of crypto heists since 2020, with $1.69 billion attributed to thefts resulting from compromised private keys. In a report published last month, the UNS documented investigations into 58 crypto heists with suspected North Korean involvement dating back to 2017. These hacks amounted to approximately $3 billion, with $700 million stolen during 2023 alone. Blockchain forensics firm Chainalysis reported a higher figure in January, however, estimating that North Korea linked hacks accounted for $1 billion of the $1.7 billion total stolen in 2020. Interestingly, despite increased activity by North Korean hackers in 2023, they absconded $700 million less than the preceding year approximately $1.7 billion worth of funds were stolen from the cryptocurrency space across 231 hacks. Defy Lama and UNSC data analysis also revealed a decline in the overall amount of crypto hacked from protocols, dropping to $1.53 billion in 2023 from $3.28 billion in 2022. This trend also contrasts with 2021's figure of $2.34 billion. The decrease in losses could signify project security improvements or be influenced by market conditions. Experts caution that hacking volume may surge again with favorable market conditions and the continued growth of the decentralized finance DeFi sector, however, follow us on Google News.